queen, what are you do Please don't come in the dungeon with us when we go. Now I think I'm regretting buying a horse. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, we've got lots of stuff to unload here at the museum. We've been, uh... Wait there, Citizen. Minute. I'm sorry, but the museum is currently closed off until further notice. Closed? But we are, are weighed down with items to be displayed. Where, where have I heard that one before? Oh, you're the proprietor of the collection here, aren't you? Good. Orion told me I should be expecting you eventually. There's been a situation at the museum, and Orion has called the priests of Arcade to assist. I am Brother Rickard. No. Oh, who, who died? What, what's happened? Is it the gods? Have they passed on? Well, actually, that's what we're trying to find out. You see, the museum is apparently plagued by a ghost of some kind. A ghost? And it's begun to unnerve the patrons and Orion himself. Therefore, he closed the museum to the public until this could be sorted out. Is the spirit dangerous? It's uncertain at this point. Most spirits merely have some unfinished business that preoccupies their minds and souls, binding them to Mundus. But they can become rather testy if they're not appeased eventually. Well, since you were called in, I'm going to let you do your job. Really? Well, I was yeah, hoping really. you might be able to help me. I don't expect any severe danger, but you never know. Are you sure you want me to take care of it myself? The yes. It won't be accessible for a couple of days. Well, how, how long will it be inaccessible if I go in there and try to do something with these ghosts? I think you're qualified for this. I'll wait. Very well, then. The museum will be closed for a couple of days while I sort it out. All right. After that, it should be back to normal. Good. Good luck. You know what? I think we need to, uh... Take a couple of days vacation. <laughs> Boy, we've got so much stuff, I can't believe it. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, it's been two days. Back to see what's happened. There's Ickard. Oh, it's a new statue, I think. Oh, Hello. you're back, good. Yes. I managed to appease the spirit which was plaguing the museum. Good. As it turns out, it was the ghost of Niles McNarian, the wealthy uh -oh. philanthropist who oversaw the construction of the building. I first thought that the perhaps he was jaded due to not being memorialized in any way after it became a museum. I found an old painting of him in the storage room and hung it, but apparently there was much more to it than that. I was drawn into a very vivid and disturbing dream and eventually found out that his wife back in High Rock sadly died in a fire. And Niles himself also died in a tragic accident while mourning the loss of his wife and fell to his death outside off the stone arch. Mm. Once I managed to track down the statue he had commissioned for her and brought it here, he seemed quite happy. In fact, you may see them from time to time wandering the museum and taking in the exhibits and admiring the building Niles worked so hard on. I don't expect there will be any trouble though in the future. Also, if you're That's curious good. about his story, here are the journals and other correspondence I found. I now, wasn't if you don't mind, curious. I'll take my leave. But thank you for your help. Not at all. Just doing the good work of our case so that the spirits of the deceased get the rest they deserve. Yes. And the rest of us can manage to get a good night's sleep as well. Take care. All right. Ah, hello again. I trust no more ghosts have taken hold of the museum. Uh, let's hope not in the few seconds that you still started to walk past me. All right, let's go back in here, finally, and we need to dump off all this stuff. We have been scouring Skyrim, taking care of bounties, collecting treasure, time that I drop some of this stuff off. Actually, you know what? We've got some 
claws that don't seem to automatically go where they're supposed to. Let's see, ruby. And I think I've got, yeah, sapphire. There we go. begin. Okay, 17 new displays, 325 total. Still sounds like so few. All right, go on. I know yeah. you've got a bunch of stuff. Just leave me all the food. Let's go. Well, let's put this on display. All right, seven new displays. 332 items in the museum. Still doesn't seem like enough. All right, come on, let's go. We need to check our enchanted... Uh, weapons and things here. Make sure I've got all the spells, the enchantments. Just a day in my life fighting bandits, collecting stuff, putting it in the museum, seeing if it has any enchantments. Here we go. Glass Dagger of Despotism. Power attacks deal 35 extra damage. Yeah. And didn't you have some stuff? Just leave me all the food. Let's go. Okay, so the Iron Hatchet of Ice Blast has the enchantment of freezes the ground underneath the target, dealing six damage for 10 seconds. Learn that. And this Iron Pike of Death's Door reduces targets with 5% or less remaining health to one point of health. How? Do I have this? I thought, um... Hmm. I thought we tried to put it on display. I guess not. I'm gonna have to sell it then. Okay. Uh, let's go back downstairs. quest that I would like us to go on and unfortunately that's new glowing helmet do you have a question no I don't you yeah, are getting quite a few things here um yes this Red Eagle's sword. I want to go and uh, do that quest. And, uh, you know, every time I get the sword and I come here, it ends up back on display. So anyway, 
Now is the time to go and do the mission. Let's go. All right, here we are, Rebel's Cairn. Oh boy, look, and there's a sky shard back there. Let's go get it before I forget. Been lucky, I think we've um, collected at least six sky shards. And I have not uh, recouped the points yet. Fighting styles often come down to build. You got arms like a clam fear, then you got no range with a weapon, but you're quick with a shield. Is that oh also bought a horse? Apparently though, Gore, you're gonna have to buy your own. These, these uh horses don't uh magically appear for uh, my companions. All right here, this is the way up. Lee Quinn Bluff. I'm warning you, back off. Oh. Warning you, back off. Never over here. Oh, no more. I... that's close enough. Hang on. Oh, and it's filled the Black Soul Gym. Look at this phantom armor on activation absorbs up to 25% incoming damage. Draining magicka instead drains 8 magicka per second. Lasts until cancelled. That's interesting though. really be best not to run at me. Not the person with the fireballs. Oh, wow. New Forsworn weapons. No, all I really wanted... Where is it anyway? Um, Queen, what? Why don't you wait? You don't have to come with us. Oh. She's not attacking me, so. with her. All right, go you got her. Good work. the sky shard. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get it? Here. 
It's, it just, it looks very steep in the dark. Um, was there anything that we needed to see inside the tower here? Queen, what are you do Please don't come in the dungeon with us when we go. Now I think I'm regretting buying a horse. All right, let's get back over to the, uh, the Red Eagle cave. There's another sky shard. Come on, let's go get it. It's a good thing we came out here in, at nighttime. Probably wouldn't have noticed it. This again, go back to Red Eagle's Rebel's Can. You're better than this than, oh, better than this than Gore. He's still stuck up there. Here he is. All right, this is it. Let's go.
place in Red Eagle's Fury here. We can proceed. What? Oh, there's water here. Oh, what is this? Red Eagle. Got it. Wow. Take that Briar's heart. We did it. We did it. Is there any treasure or anything up here? A wooden egg. These wooden eggs were crafted by Bosma artisans out of out of trees from Valen Woods Forest. Okay. Wait, I thought I saw something else. Okay. problem going. I've got all these items that are so expensive to sell off, but the, the shopkeepers don't have enough gold. So we just have to keep traveling and sell what we can. I've got so much money now, I'm not sure what to do, but I know I need to buy some more things. I guess I'm going to get you a horse. Let's get out of here. And now this has become Red Eagle's Bane from Red Eagle's Fury to Red Eagle's Bane. Let's take a look at it. Still, like, why do I have this? <laughs> anyway. Alright, so up to level 30, I set on fire and flee. 
for five seconds. Okay. I think it's time for us to get back to the Dragonborn Gallery and put these things up. And hold on a minute. Let yeah. me check something. Just leave me all the food. Yeah, you're using this Orcish Greatsword. This is uh, supposed to go on display. 72 damage, and yours is 61. I see why you were doing it. I'm gonna have to get you an upgrade on this uh, on the quarter staff. Okay. Let's go. Okay, seven new displays. And while we're here, I might as well uh, pray. I've got a lot to apply my skills. Hounding. Strengthen me. I don't need to have uh, the 20 points refunded. Arrows and bolts have a chance to stagger a target within 15 feet. More effective against targets with lower remaining health percentage. No effect on massive targets. It's pin and shot. Beak and talon. Your shots disrupt targets within 25 feet, disarming them if they are power attacking and knocking them down if they are staggered. Sounds good. Where is... Yes, this is it. Quick shot. Can draw a bow or reload a crossbow 30% faster. That's what I like. Hmm. All right, I think that's enough for now. Unblock regular attacks with one-handed sword or spear. Increase the damage of your power attacks by 50% for four seconds. Let's go with that. And then here, forward power attacks with one-handed sword or spear cause targets to bleed for 20 seconds. When a bleeding target falls below 25% health, your attacks against the target are critical strikes that deal 10 times critical damage. Who doesn't want that? All right, sideway power attacks. Hmm. Fling targets backwards up to six feet, dealing 40% more damage based on distance traveled. Yeah, well. Let's go over here to, uh, two handed. Right, this is a strange one. Two-handed forward power attacks have 25% chance to paralyze targets, inflicting a critical strike for two times critical damage. Why not? Can perform two-handed sprinting power attacks that deal up to 50% more damage and critical damage to a target above half health. The higher its remaining health percentage, the more damage and critical damage that's dealt. All right, we'll go with that. Wow. 
in combat, swinging a two-handed weapon has a 10% chance to increase attack speed by 175% for three seconds. Yes. All right, I think we'll hold on to these points for now. Thank you, mighty Hoonding. Oh, see, I miss Sherry. She always tells me that I've done well. Look at you. You just stand there and look at me. All right, come on. Let's see what else is going on in Skyrim that needs our attention.